So hi and welcome back to the Adobe Animate tutorial. Today we'll be creating a simple web banner that looks something like this. So to start we're going to go to file new. Alright and we're going to put in a typical web banner size which is 468 by 60 pixels. Leave it as HTML5, press OK. We get given a rectangle like this. Now looking at our piece of animation we have a few different layers we've got one background layer we've got uh, our logo which is there we've got two pieces of text and also an actions layer which we'll, we'll get to at the end so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a background layer all right so all i did is i double clicked on that text and i want to make that black so I'm going to click on our rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around that section there and I'm just going to move it so it's, it's just it's over the entire section. So now that's white. So I'm going to have to go back into my uh, colors and I'm going to have to change the fill color to black. That's our first layer. We are then going to create another layer and we are going to import our, our logo, our PNG into our library. So to get to library, you have to go to window, library and your library will be here. You can drag and drop things to your library. Now I already have my picture here so I can just copy and paste that. But if you just drag and drop, it will also go into your library. Please make sure that you are on the right layer. So I'm on my logo layer, okay? And so now I can put the picture in there and I can see the Captain Marvel, which is this over here. And it's a PNG because it doesn't have the background. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, make that touch bigger by going to free transform and holding shift and just making it a little bit bigger. So I need two other pieces of um, layers, which will be text layers. So I, I'm going to have text one and text two layers. And I'm gonna write some text just by grabbing the T tool, all right, and then just write, you know, the title that you need. Now I don't want the font to be um, that size, so I'm just gonna go to text I'm going to go size, make it a little bit bigger and I'm also going to go into my properties and this is where I can change the font and just change the color to white. I then am going to move it into my little banner over here and I'm going to make sure that that's on the right layer and then I'm going to add another piece of text to my other layer. So coming soon. But this time I'm going to make the writing much smaller and maybe I will space it out a little bit differently. So it will look maybe something like that. And you can play around with the spacing as well if you want. So now I have everything on separate layers. What I'm going to do now is to just arrange this a little bit nicer on my screen. And to do this, I need to go into view and go into rulers. And I'm just going to go into my guides and I'm going to create some guides for this. So all I have to do to create a guide is to just uh, drag and drop from the ruler. And it can kind of create just a little bit of uh, where you want certain things to be. So I'm going to keep everything aligned to this guide over here. So I'm going to grab my text all right, and I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to zoom in. That's pretty close to it. Maybe I'll keep it on the line down here. So I'm just moving it on my keyboard up and down. And then I'm going to move this also and I'm going to keep that as close to that as possible. And I'm going to just increase the size. Now it doesn't have to be perfect and whatever you're happy with should be pretty good. I'm going to keep it like that. So the other thing you need to check out is um, there's a button up here which it says clip the content outside the stage. So if I click on that 
that is what I'll actually see on this uh, little web uh, banner. So maybe I'm just going to push this stuff up just so that there's a little bit of space in between them. Now we have to do the animating. So to do the animating, what we need to do is I'm just going to go out to about 20 frames. So all I have to do is just click on all of these layers and then go to insert frame. And now I've got 20 frames to do um, our animation. So now 20 frames is it's if we look at our properties our properties are only 24 frames per second that means that 20 frames is less than one second of footage so we're going to cut that back down to 10 frames per second so that means that we have two seconds here to do our animating so for the animation we're going to start with our logo we need to convert this to a symbol so we do we press f8 and then we call it you know logo call it a movie clip Press OK and now if you right click on it and click motion tween now we can actually do our uh, animating so I'm gonna take that uh, clip content uh, off so I can see where this actually is and I'm gonna turn it back on once we do our animation so on frame one I've moved the Captain Marvel logo off the screen all right but on frame 20 it has to be back to where I had it before okay I'm just gonna go clip to see if that's a pretty good spot and yeah I'm pretty happy with that so now I can see that Captain Marvel will zoom in or just uh, cut in like that very simple animation so if I press play you can see that the Captain Marvel just comes back down so I'm going to do the same thing for the text. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on the right text layer. So firstly, we have to do the same thing again. We have to right click. We have to convert to a symbol. This time, this is uh, Captain Marvel text. Movie clip. Press OK. And you can see that in your library there. So frame one, I'm going to have it off the screen. It's going to take that clip off. But by frame 15, I want it to be back to where we had it. So to do that, again, you right click, create motion, uh, tween, and then, you know, you can go back and play with it however you want to get the animation to work. So I said roughly around frame 15, this thing comes in. All right. So I can now move it across and you can see all these uh, little dots that basically means that now we have some animation actually, you know, working. All right. So Captain Marvel comes in and then finally the coming soon is the last bit of animating that we need to do. So again, same process, right click, convert to uh, symbol, Oops, right, coming soon, text, movie clip, click OK. But this time I want to um, change the opacity. So to change the opacity, what we need to do is we need to click on the text. We need to go to color effect alpha and we are going to go to the frame one. So again, click alpha. We're going to change that to zero and then by let's say frame 15 as well. Click on it again and change it to 100. And so now the text, it, the opacity, it comes in. So that's pretty much it for our animation. Now, if you want to go back and refine some of the, um, the motion settings, you can go in and you can actually go into uh, refine tween. And here you can use a few things like ease in and ease out so maybe you should you know have a look at you know playing around with some of these things and you can do it on all of your uh, tweens as well so you know some have like different curves and accelerations and things like that and when you're happy with your final product all right you can export it so to export the file all you have to do is go to file 
export and then export movie and then that will give you an option to save as SWF if you would like to save it as a you know like a GIF file you can also do that in there so once you saved it you should uh, export SWF and then you can use it for your other websites anyways guys thanks for watching this short tutorial I'll see you next time